What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you on how to create a player name tag that will display in 3D. It is going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints. You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer. This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need. So you can check it out right now through the link in the description. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is create the widget itself. So let's go to the content browser, right click, user interface, and create a new widget blueprint. In this case, it will be a user widget. Let's name this something as wb underscore player name tag. Let's go ahead and open up this widget and let's go ahead and add a canvas panel into the hierarchy so we can now put things into our widget. So let's go ahead and just drag in a text which will be at the center of this widget and let's put the text as just you know player name as a placeholder and then let's also use center and on here let's put the position into zero the position y into zero and then the alignment to 0.5 and 0.5 and that will be perfectly at the center as you can see let's make it a bit bigger so go to size x and put maybe like 200 or even a bit more like 300 and then on size y we can put it as 70 for example all right so now with that said we have the widget created and uh, let's just add a little background so it looks a bit nicer so let's just get our actually not i mean you can add a background if you want by dragging an image and then just putting it at the back right and then just anchor it and put it a different color right but in this case, I'm going to keep it simple and just leave the text. But if you want to go fancy and add a background and so on, you go ahead and can do so. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to add a background, because I'm going to keep uh, things simple, it's going to add an outline. So if you go here into the text settings and we go into the font, we can go to outline and put maybe around three of outlines. You can see now I have a, uh, you know, an outline, which is pretty cool. So now we can add this widget into our players so we can go to the third person character blueprint for example this one then go to the viewport and then we're gonna go into the mesh just add a new widget and it's gonna be this widget and this widget is gonna be the name tag not all caps go name tag all right and now we need to select the widget class here which is the player name tag and you can see it over here so now we just need to position it where we want okay like so now it might be a bit big so we can just you know make the scale here lock it and put maybe 0.7 or even a bit smaller 0.5 i think will be okay a bit maybe like a five there we go i think that will be good and now in order to always be facing the camera we can simply just change it from space to screen. Now it will disappear here in the viewport, that's why we're gonna change the position or scale. Make sure to go into world. But now with that said, if I press play, you can see we have the player name, name tag on top of the player and it looks great. <laughs> and now we can make an extra cool thing which is to attach it to the player's head. So we can just go to the name tag widget, make sure to go into world so we can see it, just to test, and we can anchor it into a parent socket. Now for that, it has to make sure that it's a children, right, a child of mesh, and now we can just search for the head bone, and it will be attached. Now as you can see, it changed a bit the position, so make sure to uh, go ahead and replace it. So re-rotate it like this, okay. And now you just put it up, the rotation really doesn't matter because we're gonna change it to on screen, which will change the um, alignment, but it's okay. It's one to kinda put it like this. There we go. I think in here will be perfect. And now we indeed have this. So let's go ahead and just put it back to screen. And now you see that we have it following the player's head, which just adds into the immersion. It looks pretty nice. I really like the effect of adding it into the uh, head. So that's it, guys. So you found this video helpful or real shit. You can like the video and subscribe to my channel. Lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Remember that the private files are available in my Patreon youth members, so check that out. Check out my new course with Game Dev TV, link in the description. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials. Now, yes, with all that said, bye bye.